Salinas is a small, isolated community renowned for embracing all forms of art. For decades, local artists have had the freedom to display their art on public seawalls. However, when more people became aware that toxins in paint can have negative effects on the environment, two key principles that have made Bolinas what it is clashed, artistic expression and protection of the environment. Recently, two signs have been posted at the entrance of the Bolinas Beach, making graffiti illegal under California Penal Code 594. Well, it goes back to 2012 when we moved here permanently and found that there were graffiti artists uh, layering the walls and what that impact was on the beach and the environment. At a certain point, and I want to say that was maybe two years ago, somebody posted some of the graffiti walls on the internet. We became known as a place and people came from all over the Bay Area uh, to do graffiti uh, in, in town. Um, and it got to the point where almost every vertical surface in and around town was in one way or another tagged. Some feel that graffiti is vandalism, some feel that graffiti is artistic, and then some feel that just the painting that goes on there is artistic, but the graffiti is bad. So you get all kinds of different opinions on it. But if you just look at it on its, on its face, it's graffiti. Is enforcing laws limiting artistic expression? Is graffiti even a form of art? Graffiti is an art, and there is predominantly a style. I've seen a mix of like um, abstracting words mixed with pictorial images, and for the most part they're abstract, so it is art. I paint things that I think are um, reflective of the natural environment that we're in. Always things that I think are really beautiful and uplifting. The tagging I don't think is so much about art as much as a territorial kind of claiming territory. It wouldn't be um, at all appropriate to call what I do tagging. Bolinas has always been environmentally conscious. However, with the increase of tourists flooding into Bolinas, the rate of painting, graffiti, and tagging on the walls skyrocketed drastically. And with that, the environmental concerns became far more prevalent. Walking on the beach, we determined that the paint was coming off of the walls and going into the ocean. Paint, paint is toxic and there's less toxicity in some paints than others, but all paint is toxic. So that's just a fact. What are called VOCs or volatile organic compounds, the makeup of spray paint, is getting into the ocean as I saw it. That's when I decided to, you know, I needed to do something, I needed to get involved. If we don't stop this painting, it's, it's gonna be in everything that's off of Bolinas. And there's a lot of us that eat the fish there and, and enjoy it, but I don't wanna eat paint toxins and heavy metals and stuff like that. This is the first time artistic expression has been undermined in Bolinas. Nowadays, artistic expression is a principle that Americans are willing to push aside if it's in conflict with other important values. This controversy is causing unrest amongst the residents and a divide in the Bolinas community that has never been seen before. I see the beach wall painting in Bolinas as a very, very small drop in the bucket of the problem. So yeah, I don't really think that the environmental angle on the beach wall painting is, is really, it doesn't really do anything for me. One of the roles as artists is to keep places interesting, to keep thought alive to keep um, inspiration unfolding, to make people stop and think, to enhance your environment with beauty because you feel so in love with the place you're in. Bolinas has been, has a reputation of being kind of a last frontier or a place you can go and you're kind of at the edge of society in a way. And so, without the graffiti, it's, it does seem a little more of a, it's 
little quieter. It's a little more like the rest of the way. Leas has changed an awful lot since I um, grew up here. There's just so many more people here. There's no parking. There's there's um, hundreds and there's probably 2,000 people here on the weekend. I think Bellinas has been discovered. Regardless of the side someone takes, everyone agrees on one thing. Bellinas is changing. The true culture is slipping away as so many tourists are coming to enjoy what Bellinas has to offer, unconcerned with what they leave behind. If Bellinas continues on its current trajectory, the core values of artistic expression and protection of the environment will not be what are fought to uphold.